lung cancer arises when abnormal cells in the lungs grow uncontrollably, causing the formation of tumors. Non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer represent the two main categories of lung cancer, with non-small cell lung cancer being the most prevalent. Smoking is the primary risk factor for developing lung cancer, although non-smokers are not immune. Additional risk factors include family history of lung cancer and exposure to carcinogens like secondhand smoke, radon, asbestos, and certain chemicals. Lung cancer often presents with symptoms such as a persistent cough, breathlessness, chest pain, blood-tinged sputum, unexplained weight loss, and fatigue. Diagnosing lung cancer often involves several tests, such as chest X-ray, sputum testing, CT scan, and biopsies obtained through bronchoscopy to confirm the presence of cancer cells. If lung cancer is diagnosed, additional testing is performed to determine if it has spread to other parts of the body, such as MRI and PET scans. Treatment depends on the type of cancer and its stage. It may include surgery, such as lobectomy or neumonectomy, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and immunotherapy. Nursing interventions focus on administering medications, managing symptoms, and providing emotional and psychological support. Specially trained oncology nurses administer chemotherapy, but all nurses play an important role in monitoring for side effects and adverse effects, reporting concerns to the healthcare team, and advocating for symptom control and quality of life. Nurses monitor dyspnea and teach strategies to manage shortness of breath, such as coughing and breathing techniques, positioning and oxygen therapy. They also encourage clients to use energy conservation techniques to manage fatigue. Nurses offer emotional support and active listening to help clients and their family members cope with feelings resulting from the cancer diagnosis, treatment plan, and changes in role performance. Information is reinforced as needed on medical treatments, and information is also provided regarding available community resources, counseling, and support groups. Goals include maintaining adequate oxygen levels, effectively managing symptoms, and enhancing overall patient well-being. Evaluating the effectiveness of interventions involves continuously assessing the client's response to treatments and adjusting care plans accordingly.